Hey guys, it's Margaret, and today I am bringing a bit of a different vlog, vlog, and I'm thinking of probably doing this every other week, um, just to keep myself on track. What I'm planning on doing is basically sharing how I'm hitting the reset button, um, and I'm going to read just the description that I put down here because I was able to say it succinctly and if you know me I can ramble so I put um, when do you know that the time has come to make a major overhaul of your business or your health or the organization or your home um, but how do you know that the time has come for that and also that they don't always happen at the same time but for me it kind of just exploded when I was on vacation and it did you know I just had a big aha moment that I needed to make some major changes in my life. Um, so anyway, today I'm going to share some of the things that led to this major overhaul in just about every area of my life and the plans I have uh, made to go forward. So I know I'm popping this up live, but I, I like to get feedback as I go along. Sometimes people like to come in and say hey or share their thoughts. Hi Zaheer, how are you? Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. I, well, you were live earlier, weren't you? I missed it. Um, Hopefully you're not live now. <laughs> okay, so I wrote down notes because that's just what I did. So I'm going to get to where my notes were because this is how disorganized I am apparently. Ta-da, there they are. Here's my notes. And I have some screen shares. Hey, tech boy, how's it going in England? So, okay, we'll start with business. So when I went on vacation, we, we went from Spokane down into California. And then when I came home, I was home for a day and then gone for uh, the rest of the weekend. So basically, I was gone for two weeks. Um, I put my store on vacation mode and just kind of walked away and just was kind of glad at first about that. Um, I did become panicked uh, after I started coming home from uh, the Green Room Meetup in Austin that I didn't have any money coming in, but I sure was still spending money. So I started getting a little panicky about that. And I had made the plan to keep my stores on vacation mode for another two weeks to get my room organized. And I'll share more about that in a little bit. Um, but I did start getting so panicked that I, I turned my stores back on. So I have had a few sales, thank goodness. I haven't been listing anything. And I still have my Amazon, you know, I'm, I'm FBA. So that's still going on. So I had a little money coming in from that. So that's what happened with the business. Um, let me make sure I don't jump over anything. Um, but as you guys know, if you've been following along, I did a video about my room. Um, as I, when I was gone on our trip, this is going faster than I thought. <laughs> I'm so proud of me. <laughs> when we and I was gone on our, the trip, we I was dreading coming home, honestly, because every time I would go to, into my my work room, I would open the door kind of freak out, close the door and leave. Um, and I would make these big, <laughs> I, would make, I need to hide the chef for one second because I want to say hi to people. I make these big plans to go in and clean it out, or organize it, and it would just be too overwhelming. All right, so let me say hi and then I'll talk more about that. I don't want to get ahead of myself though. Okay, so I'm going to say, hey, Kim K, how are you? And hello, Nellie, happy Sunday to you too. Hello, Car Caramel, Carmel, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Looking forward to jewelry. Hello from Ireland. And Zaheer, are you on the, I'm on the big TV? Okay, hey, Beck, how's it going? <laughs> awesome. All right, so I'm going to come back to the organizing of the room he down here, but we'll talk real quick about the health and wellness. Maybe I should do it backwards. Okay, I'll do it backwards. Let's talk, since I'm already talking about the room, let's go for it. Okay, so... I decided I just had to pull the plug on some things. Um, I decided that I was going in and I was going to narrow my focus onto smaller items, jewelry, you know, fabrics, and things that I enjoy selling. I have so many items in the room that I was just holding on to because I saw them as a dollar sign and that I just, they've literally been in there for maybe a year or more, but I've never listed. So I decided I was going to just redonate I know everybody in, in the other video I also said this everybody I mentioned this to has got a different idea of what I should do and yes I could have a garage sale only I live in Texas and right now it's only about 108 degrees outside with 90% humidity um, and and yes it's still that hot in the morning it's about 85 degrees at 8 a.m. so it's hot all the time where I am in Texas I'm in the Houston area so if I had lovely weather of course I would just drag it out there and sell it but it's miserable hot um, 
So I decided I would just donate it. Also, my grandmother passed away three years ago, and we've been slowly going through her things. We still have a storage locker full of stuff, um, and I just would bring home boxes of things of hers, open them up, get overwhelmed, close them up, and put them back against the wall. Um, so that was another thing. We were just going to go in without mercy and just start purging things that either, one, I didn't think I would sell, or two, yeah, just needed to go. Now, things that were super sentimental we already went through pretty much. There are a few things here and there that my family says, oh, if you come across this, by the way, I'm, I've got all of it, so I'm, they'll say, if you come across these doorknobs, let me know, or if you come across this Christmas ornament, let me know, you know, that kind of thing. So I have this little list in the back of my head of things to keep uh, my eyes open for. And then my grandmother and my great-grandmother were both China painters, so everything of theirs, we're just repackaging up. And then at Christmas time, my family's going to get a big surprise because <laughs> I'm going to drag all those boxes out and I'm going to make them go through it with me because it's insane. And it's not, I hate to say it's not fair, but it's not, it's a lot to put on one person. You know, I think it should be a family, a family decision on what to do with everything because, you know, it's so sentimental. Like, oh, I can't believe Margaret would do that to whatever, you know, I don't want to, I don't want that to happen. Okay. So there's that. That's the organizing. Let me show you the room. Okay, so I have, I've had some people asking, how's it going? How's the room organizing? You, to, to see the original state of the room, um, I'll have to link the video up here down there after this is over so you can go look. It was just a few days ago that I shared it though. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like now. Let me screen share. This is of this as, a, as far, oh gosh, where is it? Hmm, entire screen. Okay, this is what I want, I think. Oh, this is not what I want, is it? Stop that. <laughs> I am stopping the screen share, but it's not allowing me to. Let me see if I can pop that picture up and then share it. Bear with me one second, because this is, I just want to share the picture. That literally blows all of my plans out of the water if it won't let me share it. Here we go. Okay, I have to open it up. So this is what you see, right? Are you seeing the picture? You are. So this is what the room looks like right now. And let me see if you can see my arrow on there. Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, so in the other video, you could not see the floor whatsoever. So here you can at least see the floor. Um, the plan is, so these boxes all right here are all full of my grandmother and my great grandmother's painted china. There's more of it in this closet over here. So the big plan is this shelf is mostly things that I'm going to be sending in the FBA. So this shelf is going to move over here. And also in the other one, you could not see the window at all because it was just boxes from the storage locker blocking the whole, video, the whole view. Um, so yeah, I'm on, this will be my FBA shelf. It's going to come over here. And then this wall, I'm actually going to have a workspace. I'm going to get a table. It'll be for my shipping and I'll probably start shooting videos in there. And then, I don't know if you can see it. Let me scooch the, the picture. Yeah, over here is like listed plush and listed other things that I'm, I'm going to have to find some better way to store. So it still looks like a ginormous mess, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So I wanted to share that with you. Let me check the chat and see what everyone is saying. Uh, oh, Kathleen, your room looks just like that. I'm telling you, if you have seen, if you saw the other video, you would know I've done a lot of work. We have taken three loads already to donate and we have a fourth one sitting in the living room ready to load up and take to donate that's how much and i've been going through the closets as well um so then when i'm done with that we're going to start attacking the house because we would love to move i mean i don't know that it's going to happen for a number of years but with the amount of things that we have that were ours and then my grandmother's we have to just start looking at things like do we want to move that no okay we got to figure it out we want to move that okay no let's get rid of it it just like the stuff starts like, I don't know, piling down on top of you and it makes you feel so stressed out. And I, I know I've said this before, when I go visit my sister, she's very minimalistic. And I always feel so refreshed going out. You know, she's got property out in Cur uh, Kerrville. And so just going out to her place, being in the country, minimalist house, it's so like de-stressing. And I dread coming home. So same thing, coming back from this trip, I was like, oh boy, I know what I'm coming home to, right? So, okay, I think that's pretty much it as far as that goes. Um, but I will update again uh, as uh, in the future for the room. I'm excited about it. 
Um, but like I said, I would give myself two weeks. And it's already been a week, right? It's been almost a week since I gave myself a two-week deadline to get that room in shape. And I've got some work to do still. Hang on. Coffee break. <laughs> All right. So the next section has to do with health and wellness. Um, so another thing while I was away was realizing how out of shape I am in. Um, we did a lot of hiking and like, you know, climb, we went up mountains and we were walking around. We're, do, we're really active. And I was, you know, I, I did okay, but I felt like I could have done way, way better. Um, but uh, this is like, this is the hard part for me to like put it out there. But what I think is going to have to happen for me is I'm going to have to create a schedule for myself and not just like a, a to-do list. I'm going to show you what I've got. I've started, I printed these off, but I'm going to go buy a planner that's got like a, a time schedule where I can put like, this is exactly when I'm going to do these things. Because if you're anything like me, I go to check, uh, you know, my email and then two hours later, I'm like, oh gosh, I've been sucked into Facebook and I've been sucked into YouTube and all of these other things. So um, I'm not using my time to the fullest. And I know I, I do a lot of things. I don't have a lot of downtime. So that was another thing that I was planning on like scheduling out for myself. You know, some just 30 minutes. Come on, Margaret, just take a chill pill for a minute. But I can't remember right here. <laughs> chill. Because <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm always like, go, 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 go. <laughs> Okay, let me see, see the chat real quick, and then I'll come back to that. I see some people commenting. Um, thanks, Nelly. She says, great start. And right, Nelly, my, she said her husband, and uh, she and her husband have agreed never to buy anything heavy. That's a good idea. Um, because, and I think, too, like for me, big. So I'm going to have to just put, put the stop on buying anything big or bulky or um, – Kim K, oh, your sister is the pudgy picker. I love Jen. She's so great. I know her workroom. She showed her workroom and like her shipping table. And I was like, it was like the envy of the me. <laughs> it was awesome. And then Zaheer says, got to say you're honest about yourself. It's really refreshing. Oh, thanks, Zaheer. Are you not honest about yourself? I think you are. <laughs> Maybe in private you are. <laughs> I know the real you. Okay. <laughs> um, El Nasu. She says, I take a break from taking pictures and what do I find? Texas gal. Woo I know I'm on a lot, but honestly, this is, this is great for me. It's like my therapy time and my fun time to get to make videos and come talk to you guys. Cause yeah. Okay. Nelly, I rented a few stalls in an antique booth and where you're going to put your extra stuff. That's a good idea. Um, yes. Scheduling time to chill is awesome. Thanks Kathleen. So yeah. Um, and that's another thing. I, this, this really is fun for me. Like coming to do the make videos and come talk to you. And somebody had asked him in one of the other videos, like, why do you make so many videos? Like, is it the money? You know, we've talked about this before, but honestly, <laughs> I like doing the live videos because I don't have anybody else in my life pretty much that I can talk to about these things. You know, I can't just, well, I mean, I finally met Tanya. She lives in my area, but before Tanya, and I met Tanya through YouTube, I, I didn't have anybody I could go talk to about you know sourcing and thrifting and garage selling and all of this stuff and so I don't know I feel like I've made a lot of really good friends I see that come in the chat and that I talk to on you know I talk to Zaheer and his wife almost every day and I see Nelly all the time so for me this is like hey I get to hang with my friends right so okay where were we <laughs> I was diverting attention away from my health that's what I was doing stalling the sun's going behind the cloud too so Okay, so I'm planning in the meantime. I'm looking at my notes. Um, just make sure. So I talked to you about, I'm going to make a schedule. I have a planner, but it just sort of has, a, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I think for me, like making sure like you have this much time, three times a day to go in and check your email and your messages. And that's it. Because like I said, I will get sucked in and two hours later still be there looking at Facebook. So, um, okay. Schedule. So same thing with with my health and my food is I'm going to start planning out my meals and my exercise um, because really it's the exercise doesn't take that long because I'm starting slow. So I'm planning on doing like 20 minutes walking or on the elliptical and then maybe later in the day 20 minutes of strength training and that I can do with my kids, right? 
I can walk and look for Pokemon. <laughs> um, oh, I'm just bouncing around this subject, but I, I'm, oh gosh, okay, I'm gonna just do it. So I put on a ton of weight. I know, I don't know, it doesn't matter, right? It just doesn't matter, but it does because, you know, you wanna live and be healthy. So, but since I, yeah, I got pregnant and had kids and that, you know, helped a little bit. But once I started staying home from teaching, I wasn't working and being on my feet all day, I put on a bunch of weight. And it's just, you know, seeing yourself on videos, like we went to the green room meetup and I'll see myself on like Steve Rakin's videos or Chris's videos. And I'm like, whoa, okay, it's time to make a change, Margaret. Um, take care of that. And I'm, I don't mind how I, I've always had a little meat, meat on the bones, as they say, but it's time to just bring it down a little bit, just a little bit. Um, okay. And then, okay, I, I made a have a little video clip. <laughs> okay, let's see what they said. Uh, over in the chat, yes, Kim K, they do see it as junk, right? And Kathy says she's a new subscriber and she enjoys the bubbly personality. Thank you. And what's the E word? She's, I said the E word. Thank you, Mitzi. Nellie, what's the E word? She said the, I'm looking now. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, exercise. That's what it was. <laughs> we won't talk about it anymore. Okay. But I was going to share. Oh, thank you. Um, I was making a video. I went out and I think some of you ladies can relate to this. Maybe you can. I, for me, I avoid seeing old friends sometimes and I avoid, or I'll say no to going out sometimes because I don't want people to see how much weight I've gained. And that is when I started realizing, you know, I really need to do something about this. I went, um, my girlfriend who, you know, there, there was a big group of us that were girlfriends in college and they're all beautiful girls, yes. Uh, and they've all stayed really in shape. <laughs> and I haven't so much. So when they get together and most of them have moved away so when they do all come back into town it's like a big thing everybody gets together and you know they go have a pool party or they go for drinks they go for dinner um and frequently i i do have you know times that i can't go for scheduling conflicts but sometimes i say no because i don't want to go so let's see how much weight i've gained so i'm i'll show the picture and then i have a little video clip that i made I was going to make a whole video. Hang on, where did it go? What have I done? Um, I was going to make a whole video about it, and I've decided not to. So hang on, I don't know what I just did. Something weird popped up. I'm going to close something. Hopefully, it doesn't close out everything. Click that. Okay, I'm going to do a Google share. Wait, let me check the chat, and then I'll do the Google share. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, exercise. Kathleen, you get. Okay, good. Thank you, Sierra. <laughs> Thank you. Being a reseller helps you put on weight. Sure. Says yes. This is true because you're sitting down a lot, right? And Lisa says, "Yeah, you caught me." Hey. All right. So I'm going to show you the quick video. We'll see if it works. If you can hear what it says. I haven't edited or even looked at it since I made it. So gosh, maybe I should have uh, previewed it. <laughs> okay. Can you see that? Okay. I'm going to push play, and we'll see if you can hear it. Okay. Here we go. Margaret, I don't know if you can hear me, it's super windy, um, and this may be one of those videos that I never upload, but I thought I would make it and see where it goes, see what I want to do with it. So basically what's going on is I'm meeting up with three of my girlfriends that, I mean they were my girls, you know what I mean? Back in the day, we were, we all hung out together, we were the gang, you know, it was us and a bunch of other people. Sorry, I'm not on my regular camera. I'm, I don't have it with me. Let me peek around this corner. Make sure there's nobody listening in. But anyway, um, I haven't seen them a whole lot lately. And I don't normally go when they do their hangouts. But most of them are from, well, one is, has moved to Ohio. And then the others, uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I don't normally get to come out or choose not to come out. And the real reason, or one of the real reasons, is I am worried about my appearance. And I know this might strike a chord with some of you, so I thought I would just throw it out there. Sure, sometimes I can't go because there are actual um, time obligations that conflict with the, the get-togethers, but um, a lot of times I don't want to go because I'm nervous about how I'll be perceived. I 
I've put on a lot of weight, let's just put it that way. Since since hanging with the girls and since, since our time together, um, I've probably put on like 60 pounds, I'm not even joking. Probably like 60 pounds that I've put on. Um, and so part of that was, yeah, part of it was having kids. Part of it is when I quit working, I put on a lot of weight. Um, but it's really hitting home, like coming, I'm so nervous going in to meet, meet up with them and see them because they've all really maintained their, they look really good still, of course. And, and I put, I know I still look pretty, I think, but I mean, I put on a lot of weight. So yeah, this is, this is where we're going with this. And it's something I've been working on here and there, but you know, things happen, we go on trips and everything slips or someone gets sick and it slips and it just, I'm trying to find my groove again in getting healthy and getting my appearance back to where I want it. Oh, look, somebody's coming. And there she is. Oh my gosh, I was just talking about you. <laughs> you my great Barbara. Hi. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I just thought it was funny that she popped in like right when I was talking about all that. Um, okay, so yeah, that that's a video that I probably won't do a separate video on, but I was so moved, like so nervous to go and meet up with them because of that. Um, here, I'll show you a picture from the, the rest of the girls that showed up. There it is. Here we go. So that's us. This is my friend Paulina, Barbara, Allison, Samantha. And there were a couple girlfriends, these are all like college girlfriends that didn't get to show up, but they all look so wonderful. They're beautiful girls. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I know, and she did. She hugged me and she was super happy and I told her, this is probably gonna go on YouTube, you know that, right? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I know. So this, now she'll know why sometimes I say no and maybe she'll give me a big hug later and tell me I'm being dumb. Um, anyway, okay, so that was that, um, but I was, the main, also the main point about that is like uh, not letting yourself become isolated because that just makes it worse, you know, and you'll find like, yeah, you know, I, I usually am a pretty happy person, but I was finding myself getting depressed. And so I just kept allowing myself to get more and more isolated from people like my friends. Um, so that was another, I felt really good after I met up with them. So I made a, uh, like a pact with my husband, like we're going to, make a plan to at least try once a week to meet up with a friend. One, you know, whether I go out to have a drink with a friend or meet up with another family and we hang out. Um, so that's the, the plan going forward. I just dropped my notes with gravel. Hang on. Because <laughs> I absolutely, I'm so nervous about telling you all this that I just don't even remember what else I was going to say. Um, thank you so much for the wonderful compliments in the, in the chat to you guys. Um, but it, you know, I felt like I, I know there has to be other people that have felt that like, Oh, I'm so nervous to go see my friends because of the way things have changed with me, you know? And I thought if I put it out there, like that would help, <laughs> maybe help me, maybe help you. We'll see. Okay. So that's that. And then what else did I write? Oh, I said, don't blame. Don't, so like, yeah, don't, I could blame it on, you know, getting, I don't know, having kids, I could blame it on everything, but, but the main thing was to make a plan because blaming things is just like the lazy way to do it. And, you know, going forward, you ought to make a plan to make things better, right? Even if the plan fails, I always, <laughs> and I've made many plans, but they, they, you know, and they fall through and then I make a new plan. So I figure as long as I don't give up and keep making plans moving forward, <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe one of them will stick, right? Oh, yes, you're, thank you for asking people to hit the like button. Hi, Joni, how's it going? Okay, last part, last part. Part number four is fun. Okay, this is something fun. And so in the group, you know, I'm an, an admin in the group International League of Thrifters. And I asked the other girls, hey, I want to do just kind of a different post. And just for fun, let's talk about what kind of books we like to read. Because I, I read, I'm in three book clubs. And so I threw it up there and it got a great response. I was so happy, you know, because I listen to a lot of audiobooks. I don't read physical books as much as I used to because I'm so busy. But I asked the group finally, I was like, man, this is, you know, we got a good group going here talking about books. 
And I, I threw it out there. No, no, it wasn't me. It was Maggie's idea. She said, what if, wouldn't it be awesome if we could have a book club? And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. And so I started crunching it around in my brain, trying to figure out how could we work that out, right? Like an online book club. And so what I thought and what I ran by, ran by them was, what if we chose a book once a month and then like the last Sunday of the month, we had a Google like hangout where we had a panel. So like, it's not fun if I'm just sitting here talking about it and then looking in the chat and seeing, you know, reading off what people are saying, but like three or four people, it could be different people, same people, I don't know, um, that are in the book club come on and talk about the book. Or maybe like, you know, during the month, we have a running chat and we'll see like who's on fire for the book or you know, one way or the other, some people that like it, some people that don't like it, and we all get on and we just kind of like chomp, chomp on this book for a while, and people can talk about it in the chat and throw out questions and things like that. So I thought that would be really fun. I mean, it might fall through, it might be great, it might be nothing, it might be horrible, but uh, I think it would be really fun to try, right? Um, so yeah, I don't even know what today is. It's not the last Sunday of the month, is it? But I think maybe on the last Sunday of the month, this month, I'll make some kind of post and say, I'm going to pick the first book. So there. <laughs> or else I'll ask Maggie since it was her idea. I'll talk to her. So we'll, we'll figure out the first book and we'll throw it out there. And like you can come and you can read it, not read it or whatever. And, or just come and like hear what this book's about and see if it's something you would want to read. Um, yeah, because I, I really like reading a lot. So, so anyway, I, I thought I would throw it out there and see what you guys thought about this idea, if you would be interested in it. I, I'm, I'm kind of excited about it, honestly, um, because, you know, we get so focused on, you know, the reselling stuff, and I think it would be just something different. You know, you can learn more about people, uh, learn, and I'll learn more about you, and you'll learn more about me, and, you know, make friends, and that's always, that's always a good thing, right? Okay, so, let's see, Felicia Day from the Guild has a book club. It's really fun. I'll have to see who that is. Do I know who the Guild is? Isn't that a TV show? Wasn't it? Okay, I'll have to find out who that is. Or is that a T? It's on TV, right? They do on Book a Month and they hang out. We should talk about it. I'm going to have to look into that because I don't know who that is. Am I stealing someone's idea? Is this, this is probably a big famous person that I just don't know, right? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll look, I'll look into that. I'll look into that. But we'll still do ours. How about that? Okay, so that's pretty much... It was a web series. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I need to, I should know this, but I don't know it. All right, so that's pretty much it. I, my plan is, <laughs> I'm not going to read what she wrote. Um, my plan is to have one of these updates every other week. So, you know, the second and third Sunday or whatever it is, just every other week, um, I'll come on and kind of give updates about how things are going, you know, home, health business organization that kind of thing and we'll move forward from there um so yeah if you're interested you know i haven't really i didn't really plan when i was going to you know come on today but uh be on the lookout i'll hopefully have a better idea so if you're interested in coming and checking out when i'm going to go live to talk about these kind of things uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified or follow me on facebook because that's where a lot of people say how do i know when you're going to go live margaret I put it in on my Facebook page, um, Texas Gal Treasures, and I've started putting it on Twitter as well, TX Gal Treasures on Twitter. So follow me on one of those pages. Facebook I'm more consistent with. <laughs> and then you'll be notified. Oh, I feel like there's, an, I'm looking because I pulled up some pictures. Okay, there, there are some. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, good luck with your postings here. I'm going to show you two more pictures before I go. Okay, oh, thanks, Gina. Um, she says, I made great process in the room and we're in the same boat weight wise um i'm going to show you two more pictures because there's two more updates i forgot to share with you <laughs> one of them is just a funny picture i'm working on my i want to screen share i'm working on my oh gosh i gotta pull it up um come on now there it is i'm pulling it up i'm working on my part two of the austin meetup and i'm 
<laughs> I got some footage that I didn't realize it was as funny as it is. And so I made, oh gosh, there we go. I made a, a little clip. I asked Chris if it was okay. <laughs> but he went up to talk to this lady running this garage sale, and she just looked like she was like sucked into his bona fide hustler laser beams or something. And she just looked like her jaw, jaw was going to hit the floor. So I don't know. I just thought it was funny. So I said, Bonafide has her locked in his tractor beam. If you've seen um, uh, Talladega Nights and they talk about the, the blonde wife and she's like the tractor beam of hotness or something like that. <laughs> That's what this lady looks like. Or like he's from uh, uh, True Blood and he's like glamored her or something. Anyway, okay, nerds. But there's an addition to the family. Last part, <laughs> I promise this time. Look it. We've been talking about adopting a dog. And we went to PetSmart yesterday just because, and we came home with two cats. <laughs> hey, Mario. So yeah, we, we already have two cats, Luke and Leia, you may know. And now we have four cats. I don't know how that happened. Um, so we have, this is Pancake right here. He was originally named Moses. And then this is Mimi. And Mimi is named Mimi, but she's so sweet. They're adorable. Oh my goodness. They were so sweet. I did have to rush them to the vet yesterday. They looked in perfect health when we adopted them at noon. And by four o'clock, um, Pancake had like green gunk coming out of his nose and eyes. And so we, um, there was a vet right here that closed at five. So I took him over there. Poor Pancake had a fever and an upper respiratory infection. So they both got, you know, they w both went ahead and got antibiotic shots and drops and stuff. So they're already looking way better and playing. And hey, Rebecca, thank you. I'm so glad you came. Um, so yeah, these are our new babies, and I'll I'll be sharing more about them soon. Okay, so that's it. So make sure, let's see, how was the first night? With the babies, they were so perfect. I'm telling you, even, okay, so Pancake, we, even when we're at the vet, like this is what sold me on him. I'm picking him up, which is why we also call him Pancake, because he's sweet and he's just like floppy. I'm picking him up and he's just like flopping all over me and he's purring nonstop, like loud purring. We take him to the vet. Poor baby's got a fever and gunk and like, well, like all green and goopy. And the whole time the vet's examining him and poking and prodding, he's just like purr, 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 flopping on his back, purr, purr, purr. He's like a lover, you know? I mean, and so last night, same thing. They were just... No, they didn't fuss or anything. They're in their little crate and they're in the bathroom. We're making sure that they're all cleared up before we introduce them to Luke and Leia. So, yes. Oh, so you'll see more. I'm sure I'll have more cat videos coming. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, make sure that if you're interested in any of my videos, I do reselling videos, as many as you know, sales videos, haul videos. I do unboxings and vlogs, um, so if you're interested in any of those things and want to get notified, hit the subscribe button down below, and let me know down in the, that's my kids, not my cats, let me know down in the um, comment section down below what you think about the idea of having a book club. I'm excited about this. Yes, I'm now officially a crazy cat lady. So much for getting a dog. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks so much for coming and talking to me, and you should never buy animals from pet stores. See, but it wasn't the pets. We didn't actually buy them from the – it was the Galveston County Humane Society was there, like doing pet adoptions at PetSmart. And so I thought, okay, it's the Humane Society, right? But I think there was – even I talked to the vet, and I was like, I think, I think they must have, like, done sprucing up because they were, like, four hours later, you know, poor pancakes. Like, and luckily there was a vet that was open. Saturday that I could get them to you. So, but they're sweet. They're sweet. They're sweet. Okay, here I go. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks again, everybody. Have a good day. I'm stopping it again, and this happens every time. <laughs>